Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be orientating the user to the Atlan A350. This is your main screen, the on off button, the light button to illuminate the workspace and has three different settings, the rotary knob for making and confirming selections, the alarm silence key. To the side is your back bar to mount your vaporizers. And here is your electronic mixing unit and the oxygen flush is located here. This is your auxiliary oxygen flow meter and this is called the oxygen switch, which will direct your oxygen either through to the oxygen auxiliary outlet or up to the additional oxygen system, which is equivalent to your emergency oxygen delivery. This screen will give you an indication of your power supply, your gas supply, has an electronic airway pressure gauge, and your time. Behind this door is your backup manual mode. This will be detailed in the emergency settings video. To the side, this is the integrated suction device that may come on your device. Here is a manual pressure gauge. Underneath this cover is the breathing system. The APL valve, the inspiratory, expiratory ports, and the port for your bag limb with the notch which is utilized during the system and the leak test. On the underside is where the soda lime is located. Through this window, you'll be able to see the e-vent piston ventilator and down the bottom are your central brakes. To lock the device, push down, and to unlock it, lift the flap up. On either side of the device are handles which should be used when moving the machine. Located to the side of the Atlan, under the manual pressure gauge is the anesthetic gas scavenging system. When appropriately connected, the blue flap resting against this back wall will be floating between the min and the max line. This will indicate adequate scavenging levels. This is a side view of the Atlan A350. Located here is the external fresh gas outlet for your non-rebreather circuits such as the Airs T-piece. This is where your gas bench would be installed if it's available on your device and the water trap is located here. As mentioned before, this is your inspiratory and expiratory port and your port for your bag limb. This is a side view of the anesthetic gas scavenging system. Now we are looking at the back of the Atlan A350. Located here are the hoses to connect to the central gas supply system. You can mount your reserve gas cylinders here. Attached to the device is a wrench for opening certain cylinders. And located down here is a power switch which may be switched off during the storage of the device. This will need to be switched on to operate the Atlan A350. Located on the back of the anesthetic gas scavenging system is a hose that connects up to your scavenging or suction system. For more information, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative. 